Welcome to the Men's Essentials channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Edwin Jagger Double Edge Safety Razor, the DE89 LBL model. Um, if you like this, like and subscribe, and I'll be posting more video videos regarding Gentlemen's Essentials. So, thank you. Now, starting off, this is a beautiful razor, first of all, okay? Uh, the chrome, uh, it's chrome lined. Um, as you can see where my finger is pointing, you can kind of see the text that's engraved into it. And it says Edwin Jagger, and it's just a beautiful razor overall. I've had this razor about eight years, and I love it, guys. It is just awesome. Um, it shaves really well. It's got a good, um, hefty feeling to it, so you can tell that it's quality. Um, now... Some of you guys might not have used these before, so removing the razors um, is not that it's not that hard. You just unscrew the top, like I'm showing here, um, and then there's two pieces at the top here. Okay, um, I'm gonna take it apart, and in between those two pieces is where the blade sits, and you remove it, and then when you want a new blade, just pop it right back in there and screw the top back on okay um i know i'm just doing some essential stuff here or some basic stuff i mean um just to show you how it works okay i'm not going to go into too much detail about wet shaving or using this right now i might, might make a video about that later but for now i'm just going to show some basics about this razor but it's beautiful as you saw there um also, um, you don't have to use a brush with this. The brush and shaving cream just add to a, to the experience, and it does make a better shave, but you don't have to. I'm just showing it there to show the whole kit. Um, <clears throat> um, I also use ProRosso shaving cream with this. It is awesome, too. It smells really good, and again, like I said, you don't have to use the brush to put that on um, but if you want to I'm gonna make a video about that later on to show everyone how to do that um, uh, the one drawback that I like to point out I'm showing the handle here is the handle can be slippery if you get too much water on it um, they do make different handles um, like the neural knurled handle is actually better and has a better grip um, so that's one drawback about that. But like I was saying earlier, I do use Parasso shaving cream and their aftershave. Um, if you want that classic barbershop scent, um, I would go with Parasso, guys. I'm going to make a review independently of this video just on Parasso later on. But I wanted to show what products I use and, you know, just say that it is awesome if you're a first time shaver. Um, the other thing I want to point out is blades, guys. I use feather blades with my safety razor. If you're a beginner, I would actually recommend using derby blades because they're not as um, sharp and they're more forgiving. Feather blades are sharper, but they leave a better shave. When I started out, um, I used derby blades instead of feather blades. And... The derby blades are cheaper, but you'll get a better shave with feather blades. I'll make a review about blades later, too. Um, so just to one last thing to point out is that the initial cost of wet shaving like this is more expensive. Right now on Amazon, this um, double-edged safety razor is $41, I think. When I bought it, I got it for about $32 or $34. I don't remember. But um, it was... Um, a little bit cheaper um, but in the long run you'll save more money because the blades are cheaper uh, than buying Gillette Mach 3 uh, razors guys um, and I get about three to four shaves out of each blade although I'd recommend just doing three on the fourth one you can feel it tugging more and it's not as good so um, I'll make a video on <laughs> on the breakdown of cost later on too so today i just wanted to go over a quick review of this double-edged safety razor that is awesome it's hefty leaves a great shave um and yeah if you're looking to get into 
uh, shaving with a safety razor, I totally recommend this one as a beginner. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think if you've used it, if you like it, if you don't like it, tell me why. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, and if you like this video, like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.